man is attacked while sitting in his car. Good evening. I'm Rob McCartney. And I'm Brandy Peterson. He is now out of the hospital and sharing his story in the hopes you won't have to go through what he did. KETV News Watch 7's Chin Doan is live near 61st in Maple with our exclusive big story. Brandy, Eric Mueller tells us as he was leaving Barricade and walking toward the parking garage here, he saw a group of four people walking down this alleyway toward him. He didn't think much of it until he got to this parking lot, tried to get into his car. A woman grabbed the door and insisted he needed to give them all a ride home. It was all fun and games inside Barricade, but things turned serious and dangerous for Eric Mueller last Tuesday in this parking lot just around the corner from the bar. And it's where I pretty much always park when I go to Benson. Um, you know, never had a problem there before. But before the 26 year old could shut the door and drive home, he tells us three women and a man, all strangers, all wanted a ride home. And they were really persistent about it, and I was really persistent about saying no. And one thing led to another, and all of a sudden I, they threw a rock at the side of my head. Mueller honked his horn and screamed, and the group ran off. Immediately, I could feel the warmth of, you know, blood coming out of my ear, and that's when I knew there was a big problem. Next, Mueller drove to Beercade, where a friend and employees ran outside to help. That's the most severe thing I've ever seen happen here. So most nights, there's no problems at all. Mueller still has plenty of health problems. After three days in the hospital, he has trouble hearing and a skull fracture. Despite that, this daycare worker and aspiring teacher isn't asking for sympathy. I kind of feel bad for those people because obviously if they have such a disregard for human life, then they've missed something growing up, um, positive role models. Another reason for Mueller to get better and get back to his passion, teaching. Strengthen my resolve to become a better role model to any kids that I get to work with in the future so that this doesn't happen anymore. Eric Mueller says someone heard him honking, ran over here, and pushed this emergency call button. The Benson Improvement District tells us that's exactly why these are here. Now, there's now two of these in Benson. Brandy? And Chin, they've done other things in Benson as well to make people feel safer, right? Yep, the board members tell us over the last year there's been more parking and lighting adding at added along Maple and over the next year they hope to add more lighting in the alleyways and also possibly look for another parking area if there's enough funding. Brandy. All right, Chin Don reporting live tonight. Thanks, Jen.